Hi everybody and welcome back to Hayes Castle. Now the weatherman has given us really hot weather for the weekend. So I did make the effort, get out a little bit earlier this morning. So I've had an hour or so on the water already. But what we're getting today as regards the weather, it's broken cloud at the moment, but we're getting a very strong westerly breeze. Now we're situated very, very, virtually on the coast here, up to the Irish Sea, and that's blowing in across here. It's a nice fresh breeze, so it's gonna keep the heat off a little bit. But on the water, as you can see behind me, there's that nice ripple. But what I'm fishing at the moment is the floating line. I've got my five foot intermediate braid on about six foot of tippet. And I've got the very small, it's only about an inch long, damsel, unweighted. Now, when I'm putting that out, obviously with the floating line in this ripple, the wind's going to pick it up straight away and hold that pattern up quite high. So the first thing I'll do is when I put that out, is I'll, if I want to maintain in the top foot or so, I'll leave it come around in the wind. To gain that extra depth, what I'm doing straight away is mend the line. And as it's swimming round, I'll continue to mend. But what I'm finding at the moment is the fish, even though they're sitting quite low, the water here, as you know, if you've been following the channel, is, you know, it's so clear. Them fish, even though they may well be down on the bottom, they can see that pattern coming across and they're coming up for it. So, all I'm doing is just putting it out, mend it, let it go down a little bit, and basically just keep control, keep contact, let it swim round, and sometimes a bit of a twitch of a figure of eight, and the fish are picking up on it. all I'm doing here because of that wind now you can see it there now how it's picking the line up and that's going to keep that pattern of mine a lot higher and there's a couple of ways to get round it one is mend the line once it hits the water or continue mending the other one to get that right is I can cast up more into the wind so there's less wind resistance on the line and again, if I cast down and across, less wind resistance, but it'll move, pick it up and then start moving that bit quicker again. Fish on. So these fish, they're loving this damsel. Um, as I say, it's lightly tied. It's not a heavy pattern at all. And the, when I put the marabou in it, I'm keeping it very sparse. And what you find then is that that tail moves a lot, lot better when you're moving slower. If you are putting a, more marabou, the bigger the pattern really needs to be, or the quicker you're going to want to be moving it. But as soon as you put less marabou on, you'll find then that, it, it, you know, even almost static, the movement in the water is going to get the fish down by here. I don't know if I'm in shot with the other camera still. Again, not a big fish, just about Two or just I'd say under two pound and a half just over maybe okay uh, all pretty good so far um, little uh, damsels doing the job now with this particular pattern what I've got as I said I've already said it's unweighted uh, it's just marabou basically with a bit of green tinsley in it greeny blue uh, and some sparkle in the tail but the tail is very lightly tight you know very sparsely done with the marabou a uh, couple of little blue eyes on there with the beads from the sewing shop and a bit of 
fishing line mono and what I've found is uh, this yellow that's about 20 25 pound main line uh, and that gives it a nice little yellow eyes with the blue surround it's a pretty little pattern uh, this particular pattern has uh, caught quite a few fish lately um, obviously when I'm watching the water I see fish that are moving they're, they're a bit lower down sometimes a lot lower but there's a few fish I'd say four or five foot down and they're moving very slowly they're not racing around as the temperatures are picking up these fish are going to just be cruising quite slowly so to have this sort of pattern on presented a bit higher you, you know they're going to see it and it's moving slowly it suits them nicely but it is it's, it does the job but there we are I'll get this tied back on we give it another few casts and then I'll probably switch round to something different What I'm doing at the moment now is I'm trying something a bit different. Just let it sink down a bit. That was right new, my fly. Right down a bit and just try a quicker retrieve. Figure eight, just stop, start, quick jerks. And the wind's dropped off a good bit now as well. They are, ooh, missed him.
Yeah, good strong solid fish there, good tail on him too. to that one then. You can just make out where the fish are. You see the you see the dark line on the back. And once they get too far out I, I lose track of where they are then. You can see it on the camera, there is quite a lot of weed in here still. Uh, we've been stripping this uh, and within no time of going through it, it seems to be back again. We're going to go through it again later. Yeah, yes, there's one right in front of us. Let that sink. Oh, he went, so he's just going to go for it then. He's heading towards it. No. Oh. Crazy, all the fish are coming around to see what's going on. Whoa, he's going. You get him on the reel. He's feisty. Clutch up. Let's make sure he... I think he's just gone through that, all that weed. I ain't got no choice here. I've got to let that line slack. Let's see if he moves out a bit further the other side. I can't see him. I might have... Uh, could well have lost him. I'm just now stuck. Oh, there he comes. Good, good. Alright, let him go in here again. Thank you. 